Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our concert, Bach, Bieber, and, or Bieber, Bach, and Beethoven. Doesn't really matter what order they're in, we'll play them all. Um, we are Red Cedar Chamber Music. My name is Mira Kim. I'm the executive director and the violinist. And this is Carrie Boschen, the cellist and artistic director. And um, as promised, our sons will be joining us a little bit later. Um, a couple of housekeeping things. If you'd like to download or look at a program for this uh, concert, you can either go to our website or in the concert description below um, this video, there's a link to the website. And uh, additionally, at the very bottom of the concert description below this is an emergency link in case we have a technical problem and we're able to fix it and come back up because once we if we were to have difficulties and if we stopped this particular live stream, we wouldn't be able to come back to this same link. So that's, of course, just in a worst case scenario. So the first work on this uh, program does require a little bit of introduction. Um, between 2008 and 2013, um, I worked with composer Philip Wharton, uh, commissioning and performing and producing works that integrated words, art, and music for chamber orchestra. I was the conductor of the, I am the conductor of the Iowa City Community String Orchestra, and each summer as part of the Arts Festival, we began um, premiering the, these works based on children's books. There was the Giant Jam Sandwich first, wonderful children's book, Philip Wharton wrote new music for it, and created a, a 130 image slideshow out of John Vernon Lord's incredible illustrations, 30, 30 page book. So the second book was Truck on the Track. Both Giant Jam Sandwich and the Truck on the Track featured words, verses by Janet Burroway. Our next project was a new, brand new work with a story by Janet Burroway, The Perfect Pig. Philip Wharton created, created uh, music for it both in the chamber orchestra version, which we premiered, and also a piano trio version. Now it included voice, so it was piano trio plus, uh, plus singer. Um, but at the same time, there was a fourth project, and this was not an original composition. This is an incredible piece by Heinrich Bieber um, that, that, in essence, is a Baroque version of Saint-Saëns' Carnival of the Animals. And what we used this for was Philip transcribed it or orchestrated it for chamber orchestra, but he also made a, a modern realization for piano trio. Now this is what it would originally have been played, uh, played by as a violin, a continuum instrument, cello, and then harpsichord. Um, but Philip r realized the piano part, and we have performed this piece many, many times in, in, in lots of different ways, most often just the two of us, uh, because it's, 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 a, it's a wonderful piece uh, to play. Now, Janet Burroway wrote verses to go with this piece, and instead of uh, John Vernon Lord or Philip Wharton supplying the art, the art was supplied by local students, school children. And we asked for submissions, and they gave us submissions, and we, we, uh, we projected their art as the orchestra played and as Janet Burroway, in the case of the premiere, read her verses. So this is a multimedia event. Um, you will see brand new for this performance, new artwork by Philip Wharton, which will serve as models for future students art projects. And um, the verses are charming and we'd like to thank Philip and Janet for all they've done to develop this, this work that is, has been a, a real a, a big part of our repertory. We love to use it in schools, and in fact, this will be coming, this, this version will be coming to school children near you in the next season, either in person or virtually. So, without further ado, <laughs> Bieber's Sonata Representativa. Thank you. 
My name is Heinrich Ignaz Franz, Bieber von Bieber. If by chance you think so many names are gross, pull up a chair and listen close. The Bieber in my name means beaver, and that means I'm an overachiever. Although, to make my music great, I hardly ever hibernate, but sit composing all year long so you can hear the forest song. My name is Heinrich Ignaz Franz Bieber von Bieber. First, let's dance. <laughs> calling and trilling, regaling the night with my ravishing tune, beguiling, appealing, enthralling, compelling, more famous at night than the sight of the moon. <laughs> squishy, very, cuckoo. My song is hiccups and a hack. Two toes point four and two point back, cuckoo. When I lay eggs, I think it best to lay them in some other nest, cuckoo. I'm very famous for my clock, but this is what I find the shock. Of all the birds that sail and swoop, why should my name mean nincompoop? Kingdom Caribbean, where you've never been because you're not an amphibian. Everyone calls me the Fabulous Frog. 
for my digits are webbed to hold on to my log. And I don't need a tail, but my tongue is so awesome. I pick little bugs the way you'd pick a blossom. I puff out my throat, but don't try it, you'll choke. And I let out a purely fantabulous croak. If you heard it, you'd probably fall on your knees. There have been occasions it toppled the trees. Oh, it ripples and tickles the length of the bog. It's no wonder a prince would turn into a frog. I have are a giggling gaggle. They peck and scratch and screech and haggle. And when I get a hankering for them, I call them with my cock alarum. And if some noisy chanticleer comes by and spoils the atmosphere, I kick up my claws and whoop them good, because I'm the cock of this neighborhood. <laughs> My plumage bright, and here's my motto. Puff your breast and shake your tail and thank your stars you're born a quail. <laughs> simply exhausted. I can't move a muscle, oh my. I wore myself out on a morsel of gristle, that's why. I'm thinking of giving my paws a good washing, perhaps. Or maybe just crashing because I am smashing at gnats. I jump on that shelf, but I can't really bother. No, sir. What's that on the leather? A feather? See whether I purr. <laughs> Thank you. 
tum tum, boom diddy boom. I'm the musketeer of the living room. With my agro frog and my colonel cat and a rooster feather in my hat. I install my troops on the Persian rug, then I aim and fire at a flying bug. I advance to the crawl, I creep and crouch, I yell, attack, and I take the couch. So rummy tum tum, boom diddy boom, I'm off to invade the dining room. The maypole, the polka, the waltz, and the jig. The Hungarian chartus is still very big. In old Puerto Rico they shake to the bomba, whereas in Brazil they go in for the samba. In Bali, the gong. Madrid, the fandango. In Moscow, the troika. Cordoba, the tango. And if you don't know how to dance, you just fake it. For even in breakdance, you don't really break it. So get up and swing. Dozy do or gavotte, go ballet or belly, but give it a shot. <laughs> instruments there. Uh, the, well, castanets are not strange. The trombone kazoo, which of course, I mean, uh, a kazoo doesn't need to be a trombone, but it's a novelty item. And then the melodica. And we opted not to tune to the melodica today. <laughs> so I think everyone should be thankful for that. <laughs> So our next work is uh, is uh, another, I, I should say, a non-traditional treatment of a Baroque work. Um, and this is uh, a Bach sonata for viola da gamba and harpsichord obligato. Um, and 
rather than using a harpsichord, Rex Cedar has played a lot of these uh, sonatas, uh, a couple of the flute sonatas and uh, a couple of the violin sonatas, and in fact, all three of these gamba sonatas, using, instead of a harpsichord, two stringed instruments. The violin, in this case, Mira is playing the right hand of the harpsichord part, and uh, Adrian is playing the left hand of the harpsichord part. So uh, I'm playing the viola da gamba solo part. Um, so basically, the difference between uh, a sonata for harpsichord obligato uh, and a solo instrument and a sonata for basso continuo and a solo instrument is that in the case of the harpsichord obligato, the two, the right and the left hand of the, of, the, of the harpsichord are independent lines, whereas with a basso continuo, he just provided the bass line and then figures and the right hand of the harpsichord would fill in the, the chords. So this is quite a different piece. There are 13 of these sonatas. Um, we did this uh, uh, in the spring of 2017. We performed all three gamba sonatas um, on a program called Backlash Bach. And uh, we uh, recorded them at that time. We've actually been working on editing that recording and. Uh, getting it out and available for, for our audience. Um, but uh, our guest artist at that time was Isaac Pastor Shermack. He uh, it, it actually is a, a cellist who uh, we met. He was about 17 when we started the Giant Jam Sandwich Project that the Bieber came from, those, ch those children's works. And Isaac came from Moscow, Idaho, stayed with us and played, and we became good friends. Um, he's now the principal cellist of the Cedar Falls Waterloo Symphony, but he lives uh, full-time in, in, um, in Oakland, California, and works a lot um, all up and down the, the Northwest Coast. So, um, without further ado, Bach's Sonata for Viola da Gamba and Harpsichord Abogado. Mm -hmm. We should say this is a four. This is a four movement work. Moderate tempo, fast, slow, fast.
Spaced at least 20 or 30 feet apart. Um, but it was last, a week ago Saturday, I think, and it was such a beautiful evening. It was an incredible, incredible uh, event. And we look forward to being able to perform um, for a live audience more in some way with small groups or outdoor events. Um, but, but until that time, we plan to continue um, these live stream concerts. We've actually created a new concert series called Hearth and Home, which, which uh, will, um, no. which will, uh, hold on just a second, let me check. No, nothing. Okay. So, excuse me, so um, we're just checking on our stream. So our, our concert series, uh, Hearth and Home, which will be four events, and we will, uh, if we have to, we will broadcast them for, um, we will broadcast them from here, but also we may do that uh, for others. This next work is uh, by Beethoven. It's a <laughs> huge string trio. We played with by our huge son and his huge violin. Uh, Otherwise mean, known as a viola. Yeah, uh, um, and um, it's a four movement work. It's, it's great early Beethoven, uh, dramatic and beautiful um, and uh, with a tremendous amount of energy. So we hope you'll enjoy it um, and th thank you for being with us today. Adrian, could you get on your phone and just to check to make sure? Can I just check that out? Uh, <laughs> move it, just move it away, take it away. I just checked. Just you just checked it on his phone. Yeah. I okay. think we're good. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, no. Oh. 
all wish they could see near us struggling. With all they've got for title frame. Yeah. 1600 you see extra these watts. cute little mood lights, but there's 1600 other watts going that are heating things up. So my violin's responding a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Move on.
call we get, Adrian? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> claps. Sorry, it's a nice job, boys. Right. Good. Thank, Thank you. you all very much. Um, we'd uh, love to hear your comments. Um, feel free to email us or comment on the video uh, on the YouTube site. Um, uh, we are loving finishing our season this way and uh, look forward to bringing you lots of great new music next season. Thank you all very much. We'll be back tomorrow and the next two days as well if you want to watch again or alert your friends or family. Thank you.